Well, hey there, YouTube. I'm Jack, and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Coming to you from my deck on uh, Hump Day here in South Alabama. Hope everybody's week is going well so far. A little bit warmer this week than it was this past weekend, but uh, can't complain. Anyhow, today I want to share with you the first year on a raw food diet. What should you do? Guys, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate if you go down and hit that subscribe button now. Then click on the little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. Um, the first year on a raw food diet, to, listen, I'm going to tell you right now, the first year on a raw food diet is the most important. And... I'm going to give you some statistical stuff. A lot of times I speak in statistics and people like to answer me with anomalies and exceptions. I understand that. I like to generalize, but things are a, a generalization for a reason. Usually, but, but I'm never saying when I say something that that is the law or that is, there's no other way. So I just kind of wanted to preempt with that. But most people, after doing this lifestyle for over nine years, most people are either going to get this in a year or they're not going to get this in a year. Um, you know, unfortunately, I see people that have been just limping along. I call it limping along, trying to do this raw food thing for six, seven or eight years. You know, sometimes I'll forget about faces and then I'm like, oh, is so-and-so is still around? And I go look them up and they're doing the same old, same old. And it's almost heartbreaking because it's stress. It's stress on the body constantly not being happy with yourself because you haven't been able to do um, this raw food diet and listen a lot of times the reason the people have not been able to do a raw food diet or do it up to their standards is they're they're putting too much pressure on themselves they're looking for, for, for perfection they're watching too many damn YouTube videos of people that think they are gurus that are giving them this enlightened path of where you do all this extreme type stuff instead of just learning the fundamentals of a, of a plant-based diet first, the science and fundamentals behind a plant-based diet first, um, applying that to the raw part of it and just, you know, learning as you go. Another One thing that I really like to um, suggest on this is always, and I've mentioned this a number of times, I don't know how many times people actually take it to heart, always be moving forward with this thing always be moving forward with your food plan whatever in other words what I mean by that is I don't care how fast you transition I don't care fast how fast you get from point A to point B or from point A to point Z if you're going to just backtrack and if it's going to be like you know you're going two steps forward three steps back I've watched that with people over the years I, I see so many of these raw vegans and they're and I can tell by their yo-yoing weight if you're eat like I don't even understand that concept of how you can gain unwanted weight on a raw food diet it, unless you are doing things that you're not telling people when you're claiming that the raw food diet doesn't work for you because you see go watch five or six or seven of my what I ate today videos or what I eat in a day videos and mix them up a little bit from different places and you will see I eat like a maniac all the time and I have over nine and somewhat change of years have not gained one pound on this lifestyle unless I decided hey I need to put some weight on him and, and actually made a concerted effort to do that now what's the fa phrase that pops up there uh, not everybody's the same and that is very true but just to put it in perspective I'm not one of those people I was a fat kid I'm not one of those people that's just naturally lean that just has that high metabolism that burns it's just I found a way of eating I, I like to think that I eat the right things and it, it works for me and what I mean by the right things the right things are relative that's another thing too. Um, I would say in your first year, avoid the gurus. Avoid anybody that is sure about everything. Avoid anybody that knows everything. Avoid anybody that is just absolutely sure that their path is the one way. This is the way to eating. I just, I just don't trust that kind of speech, that kind of thinking with food, with whatever. That's just, that's cult speak to me. So start educating on yourself on this lifestyle. I'm always talking about resources outside of YouTube and outside of the self-publishing realm 
Um, and I would challenge everybody in your first year, read three, four, five, six. I would say, no, three, three in a year, that's too little. I would say in a year's time, your first year on this lifestyle, read at least four or five books. Try to go for six. You can read one book every two months from actual people with credentials that is a source subject, like a, a Dr. Gregor or a Dr. B, um, Fiber Fueled, or um, a, a, for the, but I do like, as I mentioned many times, and I repeat myself a lot of times with these sources, um, um, check out 801010. That's a great book right there. But just you know try to try to use some really some sources with some actual validity behind them brenda davis brenda davis that should be a bible if you're really serious about knowing this stuff re read both of brenda davis's books during your first year becoming vegan and becoming raw um another thing learn basic food combining asap um, you know, online, I, I kind of go back and forth with this because I hate to be food police and I hate to criticize other people's foods, especially when they're showing it to you and, you know, they're kind of happy about it and whatever, because, and, they, and they're doing better. So I'm not good at just saying, well, you really shouldn't do this or this or this because I don't want to discourage them. I always want to be encouraging, but um, I would say learn that food combining because I have so many people that send me things like I'll post something and somebody will say oh I had something similar and I had this like whereas mine might have been two ingredients they'll say oh I had such and such and I had this 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 and this and I'm like well that ain't a very good uh, <laughs> that's not very good food combining there now let me uh, clarify that when I talk about food combining I'm not a fanatic on that sometimes listen I've I do things here sometimes the fanatics will call me out like I'll put a little almond butter in my ice cream from time to time once again from time to time I probably don't do that more than once a week once every couple of weeks sometimes I get on a kick and I'll do it twice in a week but I generally generally use good food combining. I've got good digestion, so I don't I don't have to follow every single rules. But if you'll learn a little food combining, it'll make your journey a, a lot easier. Um, what else? What else? Don't be afraid to try new things. Don't be don't be locked into your old mindset from how you used to eat on a standard American diet or whatever you were eating, and bring that over. Don't be afraid to try new foods. Don't be, a tr don't be afraid to try things you think you may not like. And don't be afraid to try foods um, that maybe you have disliked in the past or whatever. But uh, that, I, never had, I never had patience for that in the past with people because I was, I've always been a little bit utilitarian about food. And as an adult, if it was not a small child, I just don't have, I don't have patience with people that won't try things or that ha are so set in their ways. Oh no, I don't like that. I will try, man, <laughs> over my year, and this even goes back to when I fully ate a standard American diet, meat, animal products, whatever. I've never been shy about trying things. If you don't like it, it's not going to kill you. So sometimes I get a little perturbed when I suggest something. That, oh, I don't like this or that. I'm like, well, I've n I never had children, so I don't know how to deal with picky eaters. But uh, try things. You can even listen. They're not going to kill you if they're that horrid to you. You can spit them out. But you will find that a lot of this stuff out here that you've never tried. Most people who, who are new to this lifestyle, there's so many fruits and vegetables out there they've never tried. There's so many combinations out there they've never tried. So guess what I'm trying to say is have an open mind um, and experiment. And be sure you're getting plenty of variety, you know, even with the things you like, just be sure you're getting plenty of variety in there. Like, you know, I like my uh, like multicolored salads and lots of different things because the more diversity, the better for our gut. The better our gut is, the healthier our body is. That gut is so important. I mean, I just don't think enough people uh, talk enough about that and really dive deep with it other than the fact of, you know, like, uh, is our digestion good? It's even more beyond how good our digestion is. It's just, you know, like I say, it's, it's, it's an atmosphere that we create that just really makes our whole body healthy. It's called, it's kind of like our second brain. Um, God, what's the book that talks about that colon health? But anyhow, I'm, I diverge and I'm starting to babble now. But um, yeah, 
just uh, like I say, and don't, I'll finish with this, and I think I just said that a few minutes ago, so I'll finish with repeating myself, but just don't strive for perfection. Um, don't, don't try to compare yourself with anybody you're seeing in groups or anybody you've seen on a YouTube video. I don't care if these five people over there, Trent, like, you know, went cold turkey overnight. I don't care if they, the first month, lost 50 pounds. Doesn't impress me. Nothing that happens quick impresses me. Um, I don't, I, I guess sprinting, even sprinting, I've always been a little bit more impressed with endurance athletes than I have sprinters, but no, I do like sprinters, especially watching uh, world-class sprinters, but think of long-term, like it just doesn't matter what somebody can do with this lifestyle. And I'll finish with this, if, just to really bring home that point. I've seen a lot of people over the last nine plus years come and go and a lot of them, they burst onto the scene for three months, six months, a year, sometimes 18 months. And they've got everybody talking about them and everybody's uh, trying to live up to their standards. And uh, then all of a sudden they tumble off the top of that hill. And you know, you don't hear from them for a while. And then if you, if you uh, check into them a little bit, they've generally rolled right on back down that hill and a lot of them are back into animal products but most of them are not eating even remotely healthy so um, steady wins the race it's what you do over a period of time so take that first year and make it work for you because I'm telling you you should be within a, within a year for sure I'm not and you won't be perfect after a year I'm not saying you'll have everything down after a year but you should be able to do this lifestyle not that big a problem Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you at the end of the week. Peace.